What's up, guys? Thanks for uh, tuning in to my review of chopping corn silage. Today I'll be using the Crone Big X 1100 Beast from Mod Hoster. The Claws Jaguar 980 V2. John Deere 3765 Forge, whatever, John Deere 7950i, and that's it. The head I'll be using for the, well all three, all three of the self-propelled ones are going, they're basically the same thing, just the claws and John Deere are just reskins. So, I'm going to move this out of the way. Alright, so this crone actually came in a pack with this. I guess I should have mentioned that in the mods. Let me go back. This is the Crone Big X Cargo. I have it on all three of the uh, choppers. And then included in the pack is also this semi and the uh, wagon. Put the stands out. Take the truck off and just detach it. But you have to come outside the truck to put the stands up. So first we'll go over these. The crone, just the regular crone head. This can be rotated for either side depending on which side the uh, truck is going to be on. And I don't know if it's on all of the crones or just this one, but it's got on the auger, it's got a um, fold up. Get it in the doors. Tracks or front tracks with rear doors. So let's go ahead and hire work. I was going to set up a uh, course play for the trucks, but I got ahead of myself and started recording this video before, because I forgot to do it. Ski. 
Excuse me. Um, it's one of the tractors I planted on this corner with. I apologize if the uh, commentary is a bit boring, but I've had a long day and I'm tired. Another thing I forgot to mention. tank right here. If you don't want it, you can take it off. It serves no functional purpose, but let's we will leave it on. Next, we got the Claws Jaguar 980. Oh, another thing with that crone. Um, I doubt you'll ever need it, but you have the option to put some weights on the back of it. I guess if you get like one of those real big heads, it might weigh the front down, but I don't think for everyday use it'll be much of a problem. I love the uh, animation for the um, heads. The stuff doesn't just disappear, it actually kind of goes somewhere. This is a very well done mod. This guy did not turn around. And those of you familiar with Bjorn Home, I uh, planted a strip of grass right here. Just because hired workers are too stupid to avoid trees. But this hired worker is too stupid to keep working. Must not like getting paid. can't hear me very well, I do apologize. I've been having some mic problems the last couple of days. Claws. Hopefully the claws turn to red.
We shall turn it around. And then we shall move on to the next harvester. I believe it's going to be the pool behind. Nope. Oh. Here we got the 7950. I recommend looking at this mod from a distance. Probably further than that. Because if you get up close to it, it just looks like a green blob. The person who made this spent nowhere near the time that they spent on that clause. They just kind of green blob that all morphs together. But the skin on the head is pretty good. And the uh, interior camera is upside down. All right. This is the first time I've actually been in the interior of this thing. And the last. Serves as a functional chopper. The cry price on the the um, in-game crone is four hundred fifteen thousand dollars. And yes, yeah, so that's roughly half the price. We'll just say half the price for the sake of argument. Mm. It's a little bit more expensive than the other crew. And yeah. Turn around that time. Yeah, that's how that works. Actually, quite convenient. However, I don't know if they just... I'm pretty sure that's a conflict with the mod. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's why the uh, wheels are white.
Here is the John Deere 3765. I don't know if this is a reskin of the Pottinger. Probably. I'm just going to go ahead and say that it's probably a reskin of it. Or vice versa. And then... This, the John Deere 